We're now going to the App Store, typing in Eyewear Beam. There we have it. We're going to install it. When the app opens, it's going to prompt you for your email address. This is where we're going to send you a download link for the desktop app installer, which you'll need to install on your Windows PC. Now go to your email inbox. You should have received an email with this subject, WinPC download eyewear beam head and eye tracking, and you will have the installer right here. You'll also find an iTunes download link if you want to use Beam over a USB connection. So when you click on the download button, you'll be automatically taken to this page. Choose a destination folder and the installer will begin to download instantly. After it downloads, you just have to go through the installation wizard and that's going to be it. Open the installer, run through the wizard. And this is it, you now have installed both the iOS Beam app and the Win PC app. Let's check if your PC and your iPhone or iPad are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's see what's the name of the Wi-Fi network the PC is connected to and check if it's the same Wi-Fi network that the phone is connected to. We can see that it is. And now for any other Wi-Fi networks that you have saved in your iPhone, please open them. I don't have any saved, but for the ones that you do have saved and you don't want to, to automatically connect to by mistake, please select them and turn auto join off. Next, we're going to make sure that eye tracking and head tracking are going to happen on the screen you want it to. Let's go to system settings, display, you can see that I have a multiple screen setup and the screen that eye tracking and head tracking is enabled for in my case is screen number three. And how you enable this is that you're defining screen number three in my case as being your main display. So please choose the screen you want to enable eye tracking and head tracking for and make sure that it's defined as your main display. Let's open the iWare Beam desktop app. We'll now take you through the calibration and onboarding process and turn your iPhone or iPad into a head tracker for when you want to play simulator games and have a more immersive gaming feeling or enhanced game control, or into an eye tracker for when you want to share with your live stream audience exactly what you're looking at or create content or do reaction videos or do an eye tracking challenge or whenever you want to record your gameplay with the eye tracking gaze bubble overlay and then replay and see exactly what are the points that you need to get better at in order to win more games. This time I'll go for choosing real time eye tracking. In this next step, you have to choose what kind of connection you prefer to have between your iOS device and your laptop. We recommend that you go for a USB connection as it offers a more stable connection between your devices and it will also lower with around 20% the CPU usage on your iOS device. But it's definitely up to you to choose what kind of connection you prefer. So let's go ahead and see what are the steps that you need to take to get a USB connection. To set up a USB connection, please make sure that you have the latest Apple iTunes version installed and open. Then take your iOS device, open the iOS Beam app, tap on streaming and connect it to your USB cable. In a couple of seconds, you will notice that the connection status has changed to connected successfully. Let's see what are the steps you need to take for establishing a Wi-Fi connection. First of all, please make sure that your iOS device and your laptop are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then please take your iOS device, tap on streaming, enter the IP displayed on the mobile app here in the desktop interface. Hit save and in a couple of seconds, you should be connected. Hit next. Yeah. Here you will have an onboarding video, so we will hit play and I'll just let you watch it. In this next step, make sure that your face is centered and that you choose the position of your device. My position here is vertical, 
and with the notch facing upwards. When I'm ready, I click next. Also, please make sure that your face is well lit, that you have a good light source if needed, and make sure that your microphone is not placed like this uh, so that there's um, absolutely nothing coming in between the iPhone and your face so that tracking can be done accurately. In the next steps, we are going to calibrate the head tracking device to your face and your particular movements. It's very important that you don't move the device, that you keep your position as before, that your face is well lit, and please, when clicking on the calibration points in the next screen, don't blink. Make sure to have your eyes open when clicking on the green dots. And calibration was completed successfully. And this is it, you're officially now using your iPhone or your iPad as an eye or head tracker. These purple dots here, they're a representation of your eyes. And as you can see, they indicate how your eyes are moving, in which direction they're looking, and also they indicate the movement of your head as well. This is the Beam PC software itself. Whenever you want to check whether tracking is working properly, you just need to come here. These are your eye beams. They will be moving as you're moving your head and the state of the app should be connected tracking. This is the place where you can turn your eye tracking bubble on from this switch. And if you want to turn it off, it's just as easy again. Whenever you feel that calibration is not working properly, you can just hit this button here, recalibrate, and it will take you once again through the nine point calibration process that we've been through before. If you can't find the app, just head on over to the tray menu. This is the iOS Beam PC icon, just click on it and there you have it. You're done. This was the onboarding process and you've just managed to turn your iPhone or your iPad into an eye and head tracker. If you want to learn more about how you can use your eye tracking bubble as an overlay in your live streams, be sure to check out this video here. And if you want to learn more about using head tracking as an input signal with eyewear beam in your games, make sure to check out this video here.